Hey friends, my name is Evelyn Joy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my garden. It is June 25th, 7.30 a.m. and it's 70 degrees outside. Let's see what we can harvest in the garden. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just gonna pull a carrot for the first time. <gasps> you got it! Good job! Mommy! I should just notice another one. Should we pull it? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Hold it, baby. It's giant. Going to pull her first ever carrot. Deborah, pull right here. I'll show you. This right here. Pull it, baby. <gasps> you got it! Is that so cool? Oh my goodness, this one is going to be big. Okay. There's one. I'm gonna leave that one a little bit longer. Those ones are little. Yeah, we got, we got some biggish ones and a medium. This one maybe. It's a little bit small, but that's okay. We got some carrots. We're gonna let some of the other ones grow. Getting some carrots. I think I might have a big one here. Yeah, baby. This looks like a silly one. It looks silly because it's kind of squiggly, huh? Oh, I've got one here. Here you go. Yeah. Look at that. Whoa, this one's super nice. It's like a squiggly one. It's a squiggly hey, one. <laughs> Should we look and see if there's any other big ones? Yeah. I don't want to get them if they're too small. You just picked a strawberry? No, it well, was right there. Oh, it was right there, okay. I found a really big one. Can I pull it? Yeah, one second. You got it! Good job! This one was little, that's okay. Got a baby carrot. <laughs> I might get this one. I won't pick any miracles. We got a carrot! Yeah, it looks just like this one. Yeah. Let's see if there's any other big ones. I was just searching and I just felt a massive one. Really big. I just have to not pick the ones around it is the trick. Really big? Super big. Probably our biggest one yet. I got a really big one and I accidentally picked a baby along with it. Here you go. That's it. Take it, baby. Now I'm looking, trying to just get big ones, not little ones. Thin them out a little bit, so <sighs> I'm gonna. I have to thin these out, so I might as well harvest them. There's one. This one is medium. That one's medium. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for some sugar snap peas? Very cool. I got another carrot. Like it? This one might be small. Here we go, it's a little something. I have to thin these out anyway, so some of them are gonna be small. But your hands are gonna be dirty. Here you go, baby girl. 
<laughs> the cute little one. I feel like this one might be not too tiny. It's all clean. You washed it off. Thank you, baby. Okay, I think I might see one over here. Oh, those are a little bit small, but that's okay. Here you go, baby. Okay, this is my Kajari melon here. I've been tying it the other day to this. I've got some cut yarn. I'm gonna tie some more. So, I pull it over and I tie it. Deborah, show me what you picked. Strawberries. Wow, congratulations. Good job, baby. I'm over here pulling weeds. Pulled some weeds. Yeah. Looking for some blueberries. You found a blueberry? Um. Good job. You found a blueberry? Thank you, ma'am. I see a bunch of blueberries here. Let's pull them. Yeah. I'm not on this side. Oh. Mm -hmm. Blueberries. Blueberries. You want some blueberries? <laughs> Yummy. You gonna eat them? Later. Eat them, baby. Eat them. Eat them. Eat them all up. There's a yummy, yum, yummy. Eat them all up. Eat them. I'm gonna eat them all. I'm gonna You're gonna thing. share them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can hold them or put them in the bucket mm, with okay. the carrots. Put them with the carrots that we picked. With the strawberries. And the strawberries. You're putting all the harvest in the same spot. That's fine. Good job, big girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pick some Pick some more. And a lot of blueberries. We got a lot of blueberries. <gasps> Look at all those blueberries. Are you going to pick them? Yeah. You going to eat some? You want to help pick them? Whoops. Oops, I made a green one fall. My bad. I just picked a rainbow blueberry. Show me the colors on it. Oh, it's like half ripe, half not ripe. Cool. I've been tying some of this. I'm going to pull this up and tie it too. I pulled this one up and tied it. I just tied this one here. I tied some of this cantaloupe the other day and some of it's already trying to escape, so I'm gonna tie it. Okay, I tied that one, now I'm gonna tie this one. What are you guys doing? Yep. You're playing the, the grass is lava? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tie this one. There's lava around me. Yeah. What? I tied this one. I'm gonna tie some of these at the tops. So I tied them lower down, but I'm gonna tie them at the tops. There's a medium squash. Yeah, we're gonna let it grow a little bit more, but that's really cool. We've got, man, our squash are successful right now. This plant is super dry. Yeah, that one's so weird. Very cool. There's carrots growing. Let's go look at them, but we're not going to pick any, okay? They're just starting to grow. Very cool. Carrots and carrots. This one's a little long. You guys are having fun? Cool. You're going to swing on the swing? There's water on the swing from the rain. So I'm tying these tops. I'm going to tie this one and this one and these ones. So I tied those, and these ones down here, when they're longer, I'll tie them. This one, this one. They have to grow longer, but we're having plenty of vines. So this one is a cantaloupe plant. That one's a honeydew plant. That one's a kajari melon. Over there, I have some watermelon over there. Mommy, we're in a jungle, I, man. I jumped in when I jumped off that. Cool. Over here, I have this Kajari melon trying to go out. I don't want it to go out. What's up? I'm gonna come. So, yeah, I'm just checking on my Kajari melon. It's starting to branch out everywhere. Vine out everywhere, I should say. And it's gonna wanna try to go out, but once it's long enough, I'm gonna tie it to the trellis. That's the plan, anyway. But it might go wild. <laughs> I might have to let it take over some of the walkway. 
Want baby in? Anyway, how cool is this Kajari melon? I can't wait to have some melons. Looking forward to it. Wow, cool! In here, <clears throat> I have some pinto beans I want to harvest. These are ready to harvest for sure. These are my pinto beans. Awesome. Here are some sugar snap peas. They're little baby ones, so we're gonna let them keep growing, but just thought I'd show you. They're growing. Here's another one, another one. Searching for sugar snap peas. So we have these ones. They disguise themselves in with the leaves. Sometimes you don't see them. It's hard to tell sometimes. But yeah, they're growing all the way up. I did some pruning and took out a lot of the dead leaves on the bottoms of them. It looks like I still have more, but I didn't want to disturb the plants too much because I could kill a whole plant on accident, you know? So I did prune off a lot, but I also left a lot. So just being careful with them. We harvested some banana peppers yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. And I actually chopped them up to put them in the freezer. And I put some of them in some ground beef along with just a bunch of other yummy veggies um, for, I made kind of a pasta last night that was kind of like spaghetti, but with lots of extra flavors in it from the garden, put cilantro. I'm just in a harvesting mood. And you know, with peppers, the more you harvest, you know, if they have lots of peppers on them, they're using all their energy to grow those peppers. When you relieve them of their peppers, small or big, right? Then they can use their energy to grow taller, grow more buds, and really be a stronger plant and grow more peppers in the long run, right? So even though this is a little pepper, I can chop it up and put it in the freezer for putting in ground beef or whatever, right? Okay, so I'm gonna harvest some cilantro. Over here I have basil and cilantro. So I'm gonna pull off some basil, I mean some cilantro. Oops. Thank you for the bowl, Deborah. Awesome, okay. she washed it out with rainwater from the kiddie pool too. Good job, sweetheart. i put all our harvest in there. I'm weeding in here. So what happens when you use cardboard deteriorates. This out. I have cilantro growing. Let's get some cilantro. My daughter brought me scissors and I just cut some more cilantro. I accidentally got a little bit of carrot greens, but that's okay. Carrot greens are good too. Over here I've got some cilantro that I'm gonna cut. I actually harvested the majority of my cilantro. I left a little bit in there so it can keep growing. But it because I have, look, I have so much basil in here. And I also have this strawberry plant trying to grow. So we're gonna put the strawberry plant down in the soil if it can reach. Because this strawberry plant wants to root. Here I have another strawberry plant wanting to root over here, but it doesn't quite reach. I don't know why. I chose to put yellow onion sets in with potatoes. I guess it's an experiment, but I'm gonna harvest this green onion. So there I have the green onion. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off all these dead leaves. Much better. This potato plant, I think I'm gonna harvest it today. Will I get some potatoes out? We're about to find out. Little tiny baby t potatoes. They're like the size of a bean. That's so funny. Here 
Here are some little potatoes. Tiny itty bitty. Let's try for some more. Check it out. Potato soup today, guys. One, two, three, four. Thank you, potato plant. Four potatoes. I believe there's probably more in the bucket. Let's find out. I got an empty bucket to put soil in. I was pouring and pouring. This is the original seed potato that's rotten. And I found another potato. This is the biggest one yet. Let's keep going. Got another one. How did your hands get all blue? Because I touched it wet chalk. You touched wet chalk? Yeah. Like sidewalk chalk? Before you touch your clothes, go over to the kiddie pool and wash your hands in the rainwater, okay? Mm -hmm. Deborah already did it. Good job, big girl. Caught you blue handed. All right, moved it all over. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'll take it, I'll take it. Blue and teal. Oh now. my goodness. You are a silly <laughs> belly. Your favorite color. Oh, thanks, my favorite. Don't get it everywhere, okay? Okay, so this tomato plant needs more space for its roots, so I'm going to be moving it to a grow bag. I also want this pretty purple pot for my hibiscus plant which needs to move up in the world all right i had some carrots in here that were an experiment they did not survive i think carrots need to be in the ground not in containers probably just learning things as i go right oh golly okay so what i'm gonna do is did you know all of this stem right here can be planted in the soil and anywhere where the stem touches the soil these little tiny hairs on the tomato plant you can see it better right here you see them the tiny hairs will turn in to roots and root out the deeper the root system the healthier the plant the more tomatoes you get so i'm going to put this in the bottom of the container and fill it up with more soil let's go there you have it i got it out in one piece and I'm going to add soil there. I used all of the soil from the potatoes in here. And now I'm going to put this Dollar Tree tomato cage. All right, there you have it. It has more space for its roots to go. And it can grow me some tomatoes. Now, tomatoes always do better in the ground than in containers. At least I think so. And uh, But this is an experiment to compare and contrast. I've never grown tomatoes in a grow bag before. They say grow bags are better than buckets because it doesn't cause as much of a problem with the roots. Now I'm going to use this bus bucket for my hibiscus. Are you going to do hula hoop? How's that for a harvest in one day? We've got some strawberries. We've got some bunch of carrots in here. Green onion, cilantro, pinto beans. Banana pepper and some potatoes. I'm going to use this soil for moving my hibiscus to the purple pot. Looking good. Let's go rescue my hibiscus. These are my indoor plants. Here's my hibiscus. Not doing too well. Needs a bigger pot. Move it over now. I use this tool to make a hole. There we go. Need some water and sunshine. It's gonna be all right. There you go, little plant. Hey, are you building with Legos? Yeah. What are you making? We don't know what we're making, we're just making something. It's just making something cool. Yeah. Love it. What do you see? I see carrots, blueberries, tomatoes, potatoes, strawberries. strawberries, green onion, banana pepper, cilantro, lots of good stuff. But those are potatoes, not tomatoes. <laughs> And I've got uh, some beans too. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.